So if you're desperate to ward off wrinkles, tell your man, move over, make room at the bathroom sink. It turns out shaving your face could help skin stay youthful. Even the girls at BuzzFeed decided to give it a try. They just shave their face with a razor. But the professionals recommend a procedure that's called dermaplaning, and some women really are swearing by it. So obviously, we had a lot of questions about this one. Joining me now to explain how it all works is Alice Beard with Natural Look Medical Spa. Good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Appreciate it. Okay. Sure. Shaving makes your face look younger. How, how is that? Well, we women call it dermaplaning. Right. Sounds okay. so much more elegant. It does. And basically, it, it makes a lot of sense because when you shave, you remove that top layer of skin cells, the epidermis, which we shed naturally. You know, as mammals, we have skin cells that shed off and lots of villus or peach fuzz hair. Mm -hmm. And when we shave or dermaplane, we can remove all of that. And we do, our skin is nice and silky smooth. It looks great, our makeup goes on great, and we feel a lot better about ourselves. So how does it work then? Because it's, it's not like you go get a Bic and shave. This is a different process. You know, a lot of people do get a Bic and shave. Really? Yeah, and it, that will remove, you know, just like it does on your legs, the epidermal skin cells and the hair, and it will feel nice and smooth. And so that's much more convenient, which is why we, men do it on their face now instead of using a straight razor. Um, but we will use an actual scalpel like this um, with a sterile blade. Um, like we would use in surgery, just a slightly different scalpel type. And we'll actually apply it to the skin in a very clean manner. And by doing that, we hold the skin tautly and we actually just sort of scrape against the skin like this. And we'll do your whole face, not just your cheeks where you tend to have that visible peach fuzz, but also your forehead, your nose, everywhere. And if you get a tight camera, mm -hmm cut there, you can see all of her epidermal cells and all of her hair as well. And you can imagine that after this, we could then apply a nice chemical peel or a soothing mask or whatever she would need for her problem skin. And her skin would then absorb it and she would get a fantastic skin result from that. Now I noticed that when you did it, the skin itself got a little red, but then it's gone. I mean, is this the kind of thing that you could have, you could go in, have it done, and then an hour later you could go out to dinner with your husband or go to work? It is the perfect thing to do the day of an event because your makeup goes on great, you look great, wedding event, anything like that. And the best thing about this is women that are pregnant, breastfeeding, anything like that, they can do it because hormones are not going to interact like it will with a chemical peel um, or with a lot of the other things we do in aesthetics. So women that are pregnant or breastfeeding can still look great, feel great, get pampered at the spa too. How often then would you need to do this to get the best results? Well, epidermal cells shed about every 21 days. So you really want to let those cells build back up on the skin again to about once a month. Once a month. And how much is it? It typically runs about $90 to $100. Some spas may charge more. And a lot of times if you get it within a package of a, like getting a mask or a peel with it, it'll be a little bit more. So, and, and setting aside this, for example, you do hear women who will maybe pluck. Um, is that a good idea or a bad idea when it comes to the hair growing back and... Mm -hmm. So about hair growing back thicker and, you know, when you shave, thicker, darker, that's all a myth, all of those things. Really? Mm -hmm. All of it? All of it. Mm -hmm. So, so by shave shaving this, down, it's not going to come back thicker or it's darker? It's not going to come in thicker or darker. It will now all come back at the same time, whereas before it was sort of soft and smooth because it was at different lengths. So now it's going to all come in at the same time, which is why I think people feel that maybe it's thicker, but it's not. And left alone, it'll gradually get to where it was before and it'll feel exactly the same. Wow. Okay. So, and, and then again, this is something it's basically then just once a month. And what's nice is it, 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 it doesn't involve any kind of anything that's injected. Nothing that's <laughs> anything injected, that nothing invasive. If you're, you know, a naturalist, this is a, an option for you if you're looking for, you know, something that you can do that doesn't involve you know, any chemicals? No chemicals, hmm. nope. You could do a nice um, natural mud mask or something like that afterwards and get a nice result out of it. It's something nice to do before a laser hair removal segment as well because we want all the skin, uh, all the hair removed from the skin before we do laser as well. So sometimes we'll do that beforehand. And it didn't hurt. 
Did it hurt? No, didn't hurt. Didn't even feel it. All right, Alice, thank you very much for of being course, here. Do appreciate happy. it. If you'd like to give a dermaplaning a try, you can, of course, stop by the natural medical, um, the look medical spa. It's located right there at 295 and JTB.